What's up lads, it's your boy back with another video. Today, I'm gonna show you how I turned $50 into a whopping $1,000 in just two days through sports betting. If that sounds interesting, let's get into it. Sub to the channel cause your boy's getting busy Coming to your line from the west side of Sydney We've got the free picks and the juice and the daily It's all free, you don't even have to pay me Yo, 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 I apologize It has been a while since I've done any video like this But let's get into this $50 into $1,000 How and why? Firstly, the reason why I did this Is that I won over 100 units in profit last week but like most bettors, I got a little reckless and I didn't bet with my normal strategy and staking methods. I needed to practice some self-control, so I committed to making only one, bet tip, one, blah, 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 only one bet per day and rolling the profits. I actually spoke to someone at work and they told me that, you know, I told them if I only had to make one bet a day to double my money, I could probably hit that at 80%. They didn't believe me, me being the competitive guy, I thought I'd give it a crack. So to show them I wasn't talking out of my ass, I actually did this. Um, I've been studying the NBA now for years. I've always found myself betting too much on any given day um, and chasing those big wins. I've also seen hundreds of attempts of the $10 to $10,000 challenge, which is exciting, but I haven't seen anyone win. So to be more re realistic, I thought I'd try to turn $50 into $1,000 and boy, did I do it. Uh, here's my slips to prove it. First leg was a same game multi in the Chicago Bulls game. Cash, pretty easy, plus money. We got $112 there. Then we moved into the boxing, which was on the same day. So this was yesterday. Tim Zoo to get a KO. He predicted a ninth round finish. I just needed a finish, and my boy delivered. Then we rolled into the following day. We placed two different bets. The very first one, we had two same game multis. Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic. Brooklyn to cover and for Philly to cover in theirs. So that cash, that took us to $511. And then our final leg of the day, I was going to wait for the following day, but I thought, why not? We jumped on the same game multi in the Lakers versus Knicks game. Um, the Lakers did make a sweat. I think they only lost by four. All the player markets hit by the third quarter and the unders cash by about 20 points. So very simple. Like it's not impressive, the picks that I selected. The challenging part is hitting five in a row. So um, I've got a bit of a strategy which I would like to share with you guys. Firstly, my strategy involved doing some research, like everybody else. I've always done a lot of research. I've dedicated a, a large portion of my evenings every single day for the last few years doing some research, specifically in the NBA. I mainly look at everything from player props, spreads, and totals. So, for example, I look for games where the point spread was in favor of the underdog. In this particular one, I think the line in the Brooklyn game was like eight points or something, teased it out to 16, um, just just for a little bit of safety. They covered it pretty easy. Uh, for alternate totals, I also do the same thing. Uh, if I thought a game was going to be a high-scoring affair, I tease the line up to increase my – tease it down, sorry, to increase my chances of winning. And if I thought, you know, it's going to be a grindy defensive type of matchup, I'd tease that line upwards. Uh, finally, for player props, uh, look for players who had a great matchup, uh, who had great recent form and especially form against their opponent. So if you're going to buy some points or buy some rebounds and assists, go a lot lower, but you've got to be very confident in those picks. Look, I still research every single game, but I look for the legs that I'm most confident in. Sometimes this can all be done in one game. Uh, one same game multi, double your money. Other times it can be a mix from a few different games. Every single day there is value there, but you just have to find it. Um, you can't bet on every single game. That doesn't make any sense. So I guess this particular challenge, $50 to 1000 it's not the most amazing, but I actually feel quite confident that I could hit this every single week, at least once. But given the stakes that I'm playing with, I'm pretty much set to, I could fail every day for what, two months, one month? I'm not sure. Someone's going to do the math for me. Let me know. But look, it's going to be something that I run for the foreseeable future uh, whilst it's still entertaining for me. And if it's providing profits, I'll keep doing it too. My question for you is: Would you like me to see? Would would you like to see me make a video about this and share it and upload it every single day so you can follow? Let me know in the comments section below because I'm willing to do it. Uh, but for those of you who are in my Discord server, which is free to join, the link is in the description. I'll be posting all these players in the challenge section for you all. Uh, but remember, sports betting is a game of chance. There are no guarantees, so don't go blowing all your cash in one bet. Start small, work your way up. But look, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe for some more kick-ass content peace out